Lake Titicaca, it's the second most visited place in Peru after Cusco. It's located at the border with Bolivia at an altitude of 3,812 meters. Titicaca is huge. It stretches over 8,340 square kilometers and it's the highest navigable body of water in the world. The main attraction here are the floating islands of the Euros people. That's exactly where we are going. The Uros built approximately 80 islands of Totora, an aquatic plant that grows on the surface of the lake. The Totora is woven and laid on another to create an island. The inhabitants, the Uros, are one of the oldest cultures of the South American continent. They are even older than the Incas. The Uros claim to be the owners of the water of Lake Titacaca. Aymara is the language spoken on the islands. Camisara means hello. Depths of the lake below the island are about 20 meters. The islands are 3 meters thick on an average. Every two weeks, the Uros add another layer of Totora to strengthen the island. Totora is also used to build boats. The Uros people go to the town of Puno to let children go to school or search the lake for food and fishing. About 500 years ago, the Uros people lived on the land around Lake Titicaca. When the Incas came in this region, the Uros clashed with the Incas. It was the Euros people who then decided to live on the water, away from the Incas. A century later, when the Spanish arrived, it was this decision that blessed the Euros. While the Spanish Enquistadors took control of all Inca territory, the Euros were left in peace. This makes the Euros culture even more unique today. It is untouched for almost 2,000 years. The tourism sector is an important business for the Euros now. You can see they adapted some aspects of modern lifestyle. They even have solar panels now. Visiting the Euros people is a must when you're in the region of Lake Titicaca. In the town of Puno, there are many tour operators willing to take you there for a cheap price.